Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Metzger. I'm a personal trainer and manager here at Forma Fitness in Mequon. Uh, with me is Rick Wagner. He's a physical therapist with Body Renovations Physical Therapy. Uh, today we're going to be going over a series of shoulder exercises that can be modified um, based off equipment that's available at home or if you have any kind of shoulder pain. Um, uh, with, for these exercises we're going to stay a little bit lighter in weight and do sets from anywhere from 3 and reps anywhere from 12 to 15. And uh, before trying any of these, uh, consult with the physician, make sure you're healthy enough uh, for exercise. The exercises Jeff is going to show you now are shoulder Y's and T's, or lateral raises and anterior raises. These exercises focus primarily on the anterior and lateral deltoid. As Jeff lifts, spine is nice and straight and tall. Shoulder blades are back, head is back over his body. Weights only have to go as high as you are comfortably. If you've had some shoulder problems or rotator cuff pain, you can abbreviate this in a safe range of motion and work right in the middle of between the two lifts and then it's called a scapular raise. The scapular raise targets primarily the rotator cuff. A lot of people will make mistakes when they perform this exercise because their shoulders are hunched forward and their spine might be rounded. Try to keep that back up straight, shoulder blades back as you lift. If you don't have free weights at home, you can also use an exercise band. When you attach the exercise band, make sure that it's in the arch of your shoe so it doesn't snap up and get you in the face. As you perform the eccentric part of the move or the lowering, make sure you go nice and slow and keep that muscle under control. 